Welcome back, everyone. Chances are you did okay, and your plane flew a little bit, maybe even well. But let's see if we can try to make your plane fly even better. As engineers, redesigning is a lot of what we do. The reason we told you not to worry if your plane didn't fly very well is that some of the earliest engineers designed planes that, well, didn't fly at all. This picture here is an early airplane design by Clément Adair. While it's rumored this plane actually did manage to lift off the ground for a short period, it did not fly very well. Even the Wright brothers, who are generally credited as inventing the first successful airplane to take flight, went through several hundred glider designs and wind tunnel tests before finally discovering the right design for proper flight. Can you imagine all the notes the Wright brothers had to take on their observations? They used their notes along with the science that they already knew to help them to develop and modify their design. That's why we asked you to write down everything that you observed. That's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to modify our design and figure out what worked, what didn't work, and why. We designed a plane, tested its flight, observed and recorded its behavior. So now, we're going to use what we know about physics to make it fly decently. Here are three common things you may have seen your plane do. There's the classic nosedive. This is where the plane has some initial lift from your throw, but then quickly turns downward and crash. Then there is the opposite problem, where the plane seems to go up and up until it either does a loop or the plane stalls into a crash. <laughs> Finally, we have the plane that doesn't want to fly straight and tends to turn left or right before crash. Man, that's a lot of crash. Crash bad. But flying... Awesome! So what's causing all of these crashes? Well, all of these behaviors are affected by balance. So let's take a closer look at balance to see what it is and why it's so important to our plane. If we look at the scale, we see that it is level and in balance. If we add more weight to one side, we see the scale tips and is no longer in balance. Because there is more weight on this side, the scale tips. Our plane is like the scale in that we also want it to be level during flight. However, unlike the scale, the plane is not the same from front to back. Take a look at your plane now and figure out where it is that the plane balances. To do this, hold out one finger and find the area along the body of your plane where the plane does not tilt one way or the other too much. Unlike our scale, the plane may be heavier in the front or the back, depending on how we build the plane. This pivot point is approximately where your plane's center of gravity is. It is this balance point that affects whether your plane flies upward too much into a stall or nosedives into a crash. This is also true if your plane is turning left or right. If your plane is not balanced from left to right, then it will tilt one way and then turn in that direction. To make sure it's balanced left and right, look at the top of your plane and make sure the wings are even. If we don't tape the wings on evenly, they can affect how a plane will fly. Now it's time for us to experiment. Now you've identified the center of gravity on your plane, so let's see what happens if we add more paper clips to the front of the plane. How does that change your center of gravity? Or what if you added paper clips to the back of the plane? Where does that put your center of gravity? Now knowing what you know about balance, how do you think the plane will fly if you put the center of gravity in the front of the wing? Or how do you think it will fly if you put the center of gravity behind the wing? Add paper clips to the front or back of the plane so that each plane has its own balance point. Make it so that one plane has a balance point in front of the wing and the other has a balance point in back of the wing. Now give your re-engineered planes a spin and see what happens. Remember, like the first time you flew your plane, observe carefully what it does during flight and write down what you see. 
Now when you come back, we'll talk about how you can take what we've learned about lift and center of gravity to help build an even better plane that will glide like a champion. And as always, remember to have fun. We'll see you soon.